A show of support tonight for a teen banned from Wald Lake Western High School, and this is all in response to a story 7 Action News broke this week. Several students walked out of school today to protest the district's decision not to allow a teen who'd been shot in Detroit to return to school. 7 Action News reporter Anu Prakash joins us live from outside the school. She talked to the teen about today's protest and tells us if it made a difference to the district. Anu. Well, two students here at the school tell me that they organized today's protest because they feel what happened to 17 year old Michael was just unjust. But the superintendent says it doesn't change anything. Bring Michael back! Bring Michael back! Holding signs and standing in solidarity. Bring Michael back! These students walked out of class and protest today, all to support one of their own, 17 year old Michael, who asked us not to show his face. A lot of people, even a lot of kids that I didn't really talk to, but I knew in the school. A lot of people came out to support and show that they really care. Michael says he was told by the district back in February that he couldn't come back to finish his senior year at Wald Lake Western after he got shot while in Detroit. School officials said it was out of concern over retaliation and they worried about the safety of students and faculty. Lydia Kramer says she's known Michael since middle school and had to be here today to support him. I feel like he is being punished for something that he should not be punished for. He should be allowed to graduate and he should be allowed to go to prom because those are things that everybody should be able to do. Others agree and say they wouldn't be scared in any way if Michael came back to school. He's honestly just such a great guy and does not like deserve any of this. I will not rest until he is let back into the school. Michael says he was shot while in Detroit, dropping off clothes at a friend's house. He says he has no idea who shot him. Since he hasn't been allowed to go back to school here, he's been taking classes online, but at least wants to be able to attend graduation. I don't feel as if I should not be able to walk with my class like that's that's heartbreaking for my grandmother, my mom, my sisters, my dad to not be able to see me walk across the stage because I was the victim of something. He should be allowed to graduate with the 2019 class. There's only a couple months left of school. You know, just let him go ahead and do it. And the fact that the situation that happened, it wasn't his fault and it wasn't his place. So, you know, it just feels like we need to be heard. The district superintendent, Ken Gutman, said that he respects the students' rights to a peaceful protest and appreciated the way they handled themselves. But the protest, again, does not change Michael's status, he says. We've also learned that two other students were with Michael the night he got shot. Other students here were told that they, too, are not allowed to come back to school. Reporting live tonight, Anu Prakash, 7 Action News. Anu, thank you for the update there.